Let's just get into it. Best of Big Nate comics. Big Nate. Please recycle clay. Hum, 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 dee dum. Good morning, Mrs. Godfrey. What's good about it, Nate? I completed the homework, ma'am. Give me that. Hmm, Nate, this is extraordinary work, but since I don't like you, I'm giving you a D. But that's not fair. Ask me if I care, kid. Nya ha 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 ha. Mrs. Godfrey, look out. Hmm? Wham. Oops. Nate, isn't it time for your visit with the school counselor? Nate, this is a key match. If you can beat their number one player. No problem, Mr. Rosa. It's in the bag. Ever since Angie broke up with me, I've been taking out my pain and frustration on the opponents. I've become unbeatable. I will crush you the way she crushed my hopes and dreams. He forfeited. Unlucky in love, lucky in chess. All the anger and resentment I feel after Angie breaking up with me are now going to be channeled into chess. This is for the way she stomped on my heart. This is for the way she dropped me for another guy. This is for the way she treated me like a stray dog. Checkmate! Take that, Angie! But my name's Todd. Ask me if I care, pal. Next! I am the Monopoly King. I controlled half the board. You guys might as well surrender. Four, five, six. Aha! You've landed on one of my hotels, Jenny. You owe me $1,000. Ooh, Nate, you're not really going to make me pay $1,000, are you? Well, no, of course not. Momentum shift. Okay, Nate, here we go. You're a tiger. A tiger. No, good gravy. That's not a tiger. That's Francis' dumb cat pickles. Great, now I'm thinking about actual pickles. Come on, Nate, you're too tense. Don't stress out and stop worrying. What? Me worry? Ah, oh, knock it off. Think of something else. Anything else. Slap, slap, slap. Yeah! I guess the goalie must be psyching himself up. Does he have to be so loud about it? Oh, man, look at all this homework. That's not homework, Nate. It's a stack of pancakes. Snap. Poof. Mmm, good. Enjoy. Mrs. Godfrey, may I go to my locker and get my camera? Zzz, um, uh, zzz. Nate, when young people, uh, when they start to mature, <clears throat> they may get curious about um, the facts of life. They face certain temptations. I mean, you're not quite old enough yet, <clears throat> but teenagers can certainly uh, be tempted to choke, experiment. So Ellen is experimenting then? Ellen? No, no, no. No, no! This is fun. You did, Nate. You beat Worthington. Hmph, it was a fluke. You got lucky, that's what. Somehow you lucked into a win, but I'm clearly the better player. Roses are red. This fact we all know. Stop flapping your lips. Start eating some crow. Yay! Nate! 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 Excuse me, my public awaits. Nate, hi. You don't know me, but I'm Kelsey. I sit behind you in art class. I've been watching you all week trying to find a date to the party and, well, you just seem so sad. So you decided you'd go with me? No, I made you a hand puppet. Hi, I'm Nate. Want to go to a party? Heck no. This is a new low. Okay, our topic is the Boston Massacre. You know what that was, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. Although you seem to think I am. I'm not worthy to work on a project with Gina the Genius. Duh, huh, me, Nate. I'm me stupid. Me dumb. Gina smart. Dude. <sighs> hey, Francis. Me stupid. Yes, I know. And three. Oh, yeah, baby. Nothing but net. Nate. One doesn't celebrate a meaningless basket scored in the final minute of a game. We're losing by 20 points. But it was a three-pointer. Speaking of points, I'm trying to make one here. And by the way, thanks to me, we're now losing by only 17. Welcome players, Tri-County Scholastic Chess Tournament register here. How are you doing so far? I won my first match. Pat? Pat Blemons of Amesbury Middle School versus Nate Wright of PS38. Hmm, this guy doesn't look too tough. So he's in the winner's bracket, so maybe he's, hmm? He's whistling. Well, either he's not taking this match seriously, or what? N now he's eating cheese doodles? And what sort of weird move is that? Does this kid have any idea what he's doing? Now I've seen everything. He's reading a comic book. This kid's clueless. I'm going to blow him off the board. Hello? Is he going to do something? Does he even know it's his move? Checkmate. How are you doing so far? Oh, shut up. I'm the lead singer, so I'll write the songs. You guys figure out the choreography. Okay, let's see. We'll start off by taking one step this way, then another, and another. And another, and another, and another, and another, and another. Run, 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 run. Ding dong. Ignore him. Jeremy, giggle. Jeremy, you do not. You do? Oh, stop it. You giggle. Hey, I have no idea who you are, Jeremy, but I just thought I'd let you know that only five minutes ago, Ellen had an identical conversation with her friend, Mark. Jeremy, hello? We men have to stick together. Liberty, pay up, 2002. Hey, dweeb. Uh-oh, it's Josh Pankin. You're in trouble, Francis. Me, what did I do? You covered up your paper during the test so I couldn't copy off you. I probably flung thanks to you. 
That's gonna cost you some coin, Pinhead. But, but I don't have any money. Hold it, hold it. Settle down, Josh. I'm sure Francis and I have some cash in our locker. Right this way. Vroom! I'll never criticize you again for being a slob. You're welcome. Not only didn't I get the role of Captain Hook, I ended up as Lost Boy. Lost Boy, that's hardly better than being an extra. I'm a lost boy, Mr. Rosa. Fortunately, my mouth is full of food, so I can't comment on that. You gonna finish those chips? Hey, here's the start of the show. Great job, Francis. Thanks, Mr. Wright. Don't forget me, Dad. You, you fell down and they got tangled up in my flying wire. Oh, please, nobody noticed those little miscues. What they noticed was a white, hot intensity of my performance. The passion I brought to my role as lost boy number three. Some boys are more lost than others. Autographs, folks? Sign your programs? What's that? I'm working on my stand-up routine for the talent show. Well, I'll tell you right now, you can't use this joke at the school event. Which joke? Mrs. Godfrey's so fat, her cereal bowl comes with a lifeguard? That wasn't funny. Have you noticed a change in the kids since we got rid of the junk food in the vending machine? They're so much calmer. Exactly. They're not sugar buzz. They aren't as excitable as say, Justice! We demand justice! We have the right to eat what we want! Give us back our snacks! Well, let me qualify that. Knock yourself out. No Snickers! No peace! Trip the light with Leotard, dance teacher to the totally hopeless. Ellen, every student deserves to hear the truth from an instructor, so here it is. You're extremely clumsy and awkward. You're the worst dancer I've ever seen. The worst, but, but surely I'm better than your other student. What other student? That gawky girl over there. I've been watching her all day and she's a total spaz. She's confused by the mirror. Ellen, honestly, being a bad dancer may be the least of your problems. Nate, scoop right, add your services, and I'm guaranteed bits for classroom chatter. Your gossip column? Pardon moi, Teddy, but it is not a gossip column. I am a journalist, not a purveyor of rumor and innuendo. All right. Now, any good ideas for my next headline? Reporter takes self too seriously. Alleged reporter. Oh yes, who's the Nimrod? Dear Doofus, your mindless infatuation with Madame Bomb is proof that you're officially brainless. Femme Fatality kicks Madame Bomb to the curb. I submit to you that if the two of them were to engage in a bikini mud wrestling match, it would... Yowza! He gets flustered. Huh? I only got a 94 on the test. Oh no, Gina, say it isn't so. I can't think of anything more devastating for you to get a 94 on a test. Except... 96? Crack. What happened? My back went out during third period. I'm in agony. I know what'll help. Get on the floor. My brother-in-law is a chiropractor. I saw him do this once. By applying pressure to the right spot, I can shift your spine back into alignment. Oof, art. Ever seen the inside of a teacher's lounge? Nope. Give you a buck if you peek inside. You're on. A buck doesn't compensate me for the nightmares I'll be having all summer. And now Mrs. Godfrey will step into this ordinary wooden box. Oop, well, she'll try to anyway. Looks to be a big snug there. Need some help, Mrs. Godfrey? Uh, well, is there a shoehorn in the house? Ha 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 ha. I'll kill him. Honorable mention, this is the first Big Nate ever written. Our homework is we have to write a hundred words in this journal every day. A hundred words. Fortunately, one picture's worth a thousand of those suckers. Today, class, we'll begin our unit on the human body. We'll start with the skeleton. From there, we'll move on to the major muscle groups, the nervous system, and the brain. Then we'll look into the depth at the major systems, respiratory, circulatory, digestive, and reproductive. I know his hands up, but if I don't call him him, maybe hope. Do we get to look at naked woman? Mr. Rosa, you heard the good news? Hmm? Yes, I heard the good news. Aha, I didn't even have to say what the good news was. But you knew I was talking about Mrs. Godfrey's sabbatical, which means you're happy to see her go, too. You probably hate her as much as we do. You're one of us. I thought he was talking about the cafeteria serving tater tots. Big Nate. Hello? Nate, this is Mrs. Godfrey. Uh, hi. May I speak to your father, please? Dad? Cough. It's Mrs. Godfrey. Your teacher? Hello? Yes, hello, Mrs. Godfrey. Oh, really? No, I hadn't heard about that. How interesting. Mm-hmm. Yes, that does sound like something that he should have mentioned. I will. I certainly will. Yes, you can be sure of that. Thank you for calling. Boop. She was just asking me to help chaperone on a field trip, but he doesn't have to know that. Can I get you anything? Francis, your mama smackdown. Huh? What are you talking about? I drop a yo mama on you? Your mama's so fat when she goes on the elevator. When she gets on the elevator, she has to go down. And now you come back at me. Wait, wait, my mother is actually quite slender. No, no, no. Maybe you're thinking of Teddy's mom. What? Hey! PS38 Weekly Bugle. Ace Reporter scoops again. Hi, Mrs. Jabolski. Nate, scoop right here from the PS38 Weekly Bugle. Can I interview Principal Nichols? He's in his office with Mrs. Brown right now. 
Ooh, Mr. Nichols and Miss Brown, hubba hubba. Wait, what are you doing? Don't make it sound as if there's something sleazy going on. A meeting between a teacher and a principal isn't some gossip item, it's a school affair. An affair? Can I quote you on that? No, I didn't mean it that way. Don't write that, don't use the word affair. Okay, okay. How do you spell tryst? Is it an I or a Y? Sir, we have a code right out here. Gonna play spin the bottle at the big party tonight? What's that? It's a game, everybody gets in a circle and you spin a bottle, see? Then you get to kiss whoever the bottle is pointing at. It's a real simple game. All you need is bottle. Hi. Here. Another honorable mention. Can we leave now? You're not going to find some priceless antique in the middle of all this. Oh ho! You spoke too soon, Francis. Look at this little item. A miniature silver sculpture. Note the fine craftsmanship. The attention to detail. My eel eye might have spotted a diamond in the rough. That's a wimpy kid pencil sharpener. Exactly. It's a classic. Big Nate. Ha ha ha, ow, ha ha, scrub, scrub, scrub. Guys, stop, why are you fighting? We're just goofing around, Arter. Yeah, that's what guys do. So your pals did then. Ow, of course, scrub, scrub. What's a little noogie between friends? Or a little flick to the ear? Right, twit. Or it's a little slap on the back? Ow, smack. Or a little punch in the arm? Pow, hey, knock it off. Just so you know, they're not for real fighting. You know what our problem is, Nancy boys? You all think sports are supposed to be fun. No, that's wrong. Sports are fun if you win. Winning is fun. Losing is not fun. What about ties? What about ties? Run, wise guy! Okay, man, time to take the field. Coach, can I lead us in a prayer first? A prayer? Nate, we've never had a team prayer before. But this big coach, this is the biggest game of our lives. They say we shouldn't even play against their soccer team today. They tell us that we can't compete against their squad so swift and fleet. They mock us, taunt us, call us lame. They laugh and say we've got no game. I don't know if this pair of stuff works, but Lord, please help us smoke these jerks. Amen. Hi, Kelly. This is Nate. Oh, uh, yes. I'll wait. Hi. Your dad has kind of a high voice, doesn't he? Oops.